Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, wait a sec. First of all, I'm gonna do this uh, YouTube logo off. Yeah, uh, we are back on another video here. In uh, and yeah, this one will be a bit different. We are gonna do, you know, a tier maker. You know, post a draft. We we just went past the draft, and uh, yeah, teams are pretty set for the season, pretty much. You know, teams are, you know, they could sign some practice squad guys or some some of the last guys in free agency. But, uh, you know, other than that, they are all good here. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to put face cam. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so here we are here. First, we're going to start with the Titans. Uh, first off, I think they're pretty much the best team in the in in their division now. The Texans are terrible, or not terrible. Their defense is still very good, but they traded away the best receiver in football in DeAndre Hopkins. And uh, you know, it's the probably name a better trade. Name a better trade than uh, I mean, name a worse trade than this one. You know. It makes no sense. Like, honestly, I don't care what David Johnson does with them. I don't care what DeAndre Hopkins does. It's really, it's not a good trade for the Texans. Bill O'Brien, you're out of your mind. And, uh, you know, the Titans are, I don't know, will it, will it be, like, was it a fluke? Or they're heading to contention? Because they just overpaid Ryan Tannehill if he plays bad, bad. This contract is gonna is gonna bite them in the ass. So we'll just put them as good because they're gonna be probably the best team in the uh, in their in their division. Okay, so Dolphins. The Dolphins are I'm gonna say I'd rebuild for now because they're still not. Not not there yet. They're not close to here. I mean, yeah, they've had an okay draft. They screwed up on Austin Jackson and Noah Ibunogany. You know, they could have taken them, you know, they didn't take best player available. Austin Jackson was, they took more athleticism over the player himself. And that's what, and that's like the teams that fail, the biggest busts, that's what happens. They take, the the teams don't take the player themselves; they take the athlete in him. You know, if if you're not good in the techniques, you're not uh, you're not that good of a player. You know, so let's put them out of rebuilding. They're not there yet. They, you know, they they traded for Matt Breida, which is yeah, okay. They're they're power run heavy. You need good running backs in the system. You know. And I was expecting them to draft a running back. And now, that is a good reason why they didn't. You know, they, they traded Matt Breida. Uh, they traded for Matt Breida. So, the Browns. The Browns, the Browns, the Browns. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about them. They have to be good. They have to be good. I mean, they have no excuses. They just have... These the last few years, they've had players who just fell on their lap. Incredible players. They they drafted Jendrick, uh, Jedrick Wills. They drafted Grand Delpit this this year. Now they have no excuses. They need the coaches to coach these guys the way they're supposed to be coached. And yeah, they're a good team. As much as I hate them because you know I'm a diehard Ravens fan. Rule number one: never like re your rivals. So yeah, you know, I mean they have to be good. They they have to be good. They they're no longer in here. They're no longer in here. Not even here, not even here anymore. Well, at some point they were not there yet, but like you know, they have to be good. You know, they have no excuses. The team is stacked. They cannot lose. You know, so yep. Okay, so here we are here with the Jaguars. They're rebuilding. 
I mean, they're unloading completely. They traded Kalias Campbell. They traded AJ Boye. They 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 are going to trade Yannick Ngakwe, but they've let a lot of players go. It looks like they're going for Trevor Lawrence at that point. You know, so yeah, they they have to. You know, they're going for pretty much Trevor Lawrence. You're, they look like they're tanking, you know, but they replaced Kalevon Chason is going to be Yannick Ngakwe's uh, replacement, you know. They drafted CJ Henderson too. He is going to be Jalen Ramsey's replacement. So they're going younger. It shows that they're rebuilding, you know, because they're going to trade all these guys, replace them with younger guys in the draft. Okay, so here we are here with the Lions. I'm going to just say, not there yet. The Lions, the Lions, the Lions. Uh, they do some questionable things. Matt, their O-line sucks. They draft a running back. They draft a running back in the second round. They could have taken a lot more things. They could have added me, even a wide receiver three. They, they could have added offensive line. They could have added their defense. Pretty much their defense is terrible. They could have added... I mean, they added corner in, in Jeff Okuda. Not enough. I'm going to say not there yet. It could, have been, it could have been fringe here. They're not really rebuilding. They're not trading away everyone. And, yeah, Matthew Stafford, huh, garbage time guy. You know, bro, he's like one of the best QBs in fantasy. I mean, yeah, in garbage time, he's gonna throw. He's gonna, gonna throw for a lot of yards. End up having a good, good game st statistically, but we all know he all did that in garbage time, you know. So yeah, uh, Vikings. It's very hard because they're. I mean, they've been losing players because of cap issues. I mean, they they wished in their windows closing. I mean. Their Super Bowl window is closing, and they didn't win. They, they didn't even, you know, they went AFC Championship, and that's it. I'm going to say they're still a good team. You know, they're still a good team. Yes, they traded away Stephon Diggs, but they still have Adam Thielen, and they drafted his replacement too. Pretty sure they, they drafted Justin Jefferson, I'm pretty sure. I think it was Justin Jefferson they drafted. And Van Jefferson. I think they brought back the the Jeffersons. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. I'm going to see here. Wait. Uh, Minnesota Vikings draft picks. Bro, I misspelled everything. Um... Over the time here, bro. I'm trying to just. Oh my god! I went on. I went on Bing. For some reason, it just pops a Yahoo search or whatever. So let me just see here. I went. Just went on Google. Okay. And uh, yeah, Justin Jefferson, Cameron Jans Dansler. They did not take. It wasn't Van Jefferson. So I'm wondering who took him. I'm wondering who took him because I'm pretty sure they took him. But okay, you know, so Justin Jefferson. So that is uh, that is Stefan Diggs' replacement. You know, so you know, so they're they're not a bad team still. You know, they're still not a bad team. They have Ezra Cleveland which is good, you know, so yeah, they're not a bad team yet. Okay, so here we are here with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm going to say just okay. Their secondary isn't good. They they have a good offense with Tom Br I mean, yeah, they have two top 10 receivers. They just brought in Gronk. Uh they don't Tom Brady has no excuse to play bad. 
But you know, when your offense, when your defense is not good, you're not gonna win enough games. I mean, their defense, uh, they. I mean, it's young. They're they're young. They, you know, they have some young guys. They're not there yet. You know. You know, so. Let me just see their ranking. So, wait a sec. Let me just see here. Uh, never mind. But apparently, I'm not. I'm not gonna switch it up. But apparently, their defense finished like top, bottom five in some yards or something, passing yards. I think the secondary isn't that good. They, I don't think they're gonna win enough games. Maybe okay. Maybe like fringe. Probably gonna sneak into the playoffs, but not do much, in my opinion. Their their offense is gonna build them out, but the defense is just gonna let let in, let in a lot of points. You know. Okay, so here we are here with the 49ers. I'm going to say top tier. The 49ers have an excellent defense. Jimmy Garoppolo is doing the job. I don't know why people, there is rumors about him getting replaced. He doesn't, he, he, he is their guy. You know, he is their guy. So, you know, the 49ers have a great defense. You know, so we like that. Okay, so Falcons. Falcons are here. Okay, you know, they need a... I mean, they have a good team on paper. Injuries really is costing them. You know, injuries is very the problem with them, but they have a good team on paper. They have no excuse to be bad. They could sneak into the playoffs, you know, something like that, but... Maybe a seven and nine team, a nine nine and seven team. I mean, nine and seven team, similar to the Bucks, but you know, I have to I have to tier, I have to rank them there. You know, so my favorite team, the Ravens, is gonna be top tier. Uh, no no bias here, but our team is incredible. Okay. Our team is cup con is Super Bowl contenders. Nothing to say. Nothing really more to explain. Lamar Jackson is uh, insane. We we'll have a great running game. We we'll have decent receivers. Mark um, Hollywood Brown might have a breakout year next year. We added some other receivers on that roster. James Prochet, Devin Duvernay. You know, we still have Willie Sneed who fits the scheme very well. On defense, we, we brought in a lot of guys on the front seven and linebacker. Patrick Queen and Malik Harrison might be an interesting duo here at Baltimore. Kalias Campbell is still going to be a beast. We have Derek Wolf, who's still very good, you know. And we have some depth at, at offensive tackle. Ronnie Stanley, best offensive tackle in the league. No argument with that. Didn't even let a sack last season, you know, so... I'm going to have to rank them top tier. It's, it's not biased. They're just that good, you know. So, yeah, Chicago Bears oh, on okay. You know, they have like 10 tight ends on, on that roster, but they have n no other good receivers than Allen Robinson. You can blame Mitchell Trubisky however the heck you want, even Nick Foles. I, like, I don't know, man. Maybe I say play Trubisky. Maybe, maybe there's going to be con quarterback controversy. Preseason needs needs to decide that, you know. Nick Foles, he, if he has no weapons, any quarterback who doesn't have any weapons won't do anything. You know, you're not getting him any any weapons. You're only getting him any uh, some 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 tight ends, bro. Like ten tight ends on a, in a roster? Are you kidding me? But they're going to be on okay. Might sneak into the playoffs. Might not. So, yeah. Okay, here are the Cincinnati Bengals rebuilding. That is one thing for sure. Even after the draft, even after drafting Joe Burrow, they, they don't even have an O-line. They still don't even have an O-line. You don't draft a whole O-line in the, in the, 
in the draft, but the team still needs help. Left, right, and center on defense. You know, so yeah, it's not much to explain. They're probably going to be a four, four and two, uh, four and twelve if lucky. But you know, Joe Burrow isn't going to make isn't going to make them Super Bowl contenders in any way. You know, so yeah. Okay, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I'm going to put them as as good. Their defense isn't that good. Their secondary, I mean, they lost Byron Jones. But they didn't really invest that in the first round. They brought in C.D. Lamb, which was a great pick. But still, on defense, you still don't have much. I mean, you invested you, have, you invested the rest on defense, probably. You picked Trayvon Diggs. Uh, Dak Prescott has a lot of weapons now. You know, you have Zeke, who's going to be good. You have Amari Cooper, Mike, uh, Michael Gallup, and now C.D. Lamb. That's going to be a very scary offense, but I cannot put them at top tier. The Cowboys are not top tier team. That is one thing for sure. Okay, so here we are here with the Texans. They're not a bad team. I'm going I'm, I'm to have to put them at uh, as okay. If they kept Hopkins, I would have said maybe good, but they, they lost a big piece. Like, who is Deshaun Washington going to throw at? Will Fuller can't even stay on the field for more than five games. Kenny Steele's is old. You know, he's like Bill O'Brien. You're just losing picks trying to win now. But after that, you just execute a trade where you won't win. David Johnson isn't going to be isn't going to be much of a factor for you guys. You know, so ain't going to work. But you might make the playoffs because your defense is very good. Deshaun Watson is still an escape artist. Still very good. But... Uh, Still not enough. Not enough to be at good, you know? Okay. So, the Colts. Here we are with the Colts. The Colts are... Okay. I'm going to put them at okay. They brought in Phillip Rivers. They they have a decent team. They have a very decent team. They could make the playoffs. If Phillip Rivers puts his shit together, he now has an O-line, unlike at LA. So, yeah. You know, they they could compete for a playoff spot next season because Philip Rivers isn't that bad, you know. But he, he was, you can blame him how how you want when he was with the Chargers last season. He, but he was still one of the top five quarterbacks who had to throw the fastest, which means he was getting pressured a lot, and he got sacked a lot also. So you know, it's not. It's not Philip Rivers' fault all the way with the with the Chargers being bad and being disappointing. So okay. So now now you have here with with the LA Rams. You're gonna say they lost a lot of players. I have to put them here. Not gonna lie, I have to put them here. You know, bro, if, if they kept all their players, I'm gonna have to say here. Their defense they lost some pieces. They lost some pieces due, due to cap, you know. Jerry Goff needs to needs to reconstruct his contract to create some more cap because his contract is ridiculous. He shouldn't be paid like that. I don't know why. So, you know, they had to lose these players due to cap mismanagement, you know. So, uh, yeah, here we are here. With the LA Rams, I'm gonna s- say they're good. Okay, I'm gonna say. Mm, no, I'm gonna say they're okay. You know, I'm gonna be more like that. Because, first of all, you have a rookie quarterback. You don't know how he's gonna play. The offensive line still needs help. The defense is very good, but it's not gonna hold you every single game. You know, last year. You guys lost, like, more than half the games were decided by one TD. You know, imagine if you, imagine if if the offense was was better like that, was better. You guys would have won all these games maybe, you know. So, you know, I'm going to say okay, but they could be a good 
if if I knew what Justin Herbert was really going to become, you know. But, you know, he's a rookie quarterback. Next season, rookies, r- rookie quarterbacks turn over the ball a lot. So, you know, maybe Tyrod Taylor could start, but Tyrod Taylor is not. He's probably a 9-7, s- nine, nine and 10-6 and six quarterback, more like that. So, yeah, even with Tyrod, wouldn't be amazing. So, yeah, Kansas City Chiefs, you have to put them at top tier. You have to put them at top tier. Patrick Mahomes is a beast. Tyreek Hill is a beast. You have a lot of speed series. You have too much weapons on the offense. You cannot cover, you cannot shut down anyone, you know, because if you double team Tyreek Hill, there's going to be Travis Kelsey. After Kelsey, there's going to be Nicole Harmon. After that, Sammy Watkins. You have, four, you have like four four weapons there. You cannot you cannot cover them all. Look at the 49ers. Richard Sherman gets completely burned, you know, in the, in the Super Bowl. So, yeah, you cannot really... You cannot really double-team anyone because there's always going to be someone else open, some other weapon open because all your weapons are good. You know, so, yeah, they have to be top tier. Okay, so New New Orleans Saints, top tier team. And Drew Brees is still a beast. Drew Brees is still a beast. Their, their offense is still very good. Defense, still very decent. You know, Marshawn Lattimore, Alex Anzalone developing. Uh, you, you still have Cameron Jordan, the Pirate. I'm going to call him that because of his mustache, but still very good. Michael Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders now. Drew Brees is still playing very well. He's still going to play very well. So, yeah, they have to be a top-tier team. Still the best team in, in the NFC South. No argument, you know. They still need to be the best team. I don't, I don't think the Bucks are going to beat him, you know. Okay, Giants. Giants looks like they're not doesn't look like they're rebuilding, but they're not there yet. Not a good fringe rebuilding, you know, fringe like rebuilding, you know. So they could like I mean, let me just Yeah, okay. You know. Uh let, let me just say terrible here, okay? Just you know, terrible. And then uh, here, bad. That's more like it, okay? Okay, so Giants, Danny Dimes, how many weapons does he have? Lost Oldell. You have Sterling Shepard. You don't have much, you know. Darius Slayton, do you know how, how they're really going to become? Or they're not great, you know. Defense needs a lot of help, you know. Linebacker might need a lot of help. Uh, you lo- you lost Alec Ogletree, who's still in free agency. He hasn't signed with another team, but he was a starter no matter how bad he was. You signed Blake Martinez, who's overrated as hell, bro. He's not a good cover linebacker. He doesn't cover well. He only tackles well. Ta- tackling shouldn't be your best stat at all. You know, linebacker is all about also covering, you know. It's not all about tackling. So, yeah. Eagles. Eagles, I'm going to put them at okay. You know why? Because they failed to have, you know, they could have double dipped on, I mean, they drafted some receivers, but in like round six and seven. But you had a chance to take Denzel Mims. Instead, you take Jalen Hurts. Jalen Reger, still good, but he has dropping problems. Uh, you could have traded up with you. You let your division rival take C. D. Lamb. You know, Denzel Mims. You don't take him, and you take Jalen Hurts. I mean, okay. You know, I I don't know what you're gonna do with him. Probably copy the Saints with their package, with Taysom Hill. But okay, you know. So yeah. Steelers, you have to put them at bad. 
It's, it's not because I hate them. Well, I do hate them. Never like her rivals. But, bro, you could have built a dynasty with Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, but you guys let him go. Completely traded them. You got you got to hope with Minka Fitzpatrick, nothing else. Ben Roethlisberger can easily suck. You guys got... You didn't really get another weapon for him. That is another thing. Chase Claypool is a, is a big slot guy, but he's but but you guys completely reached. Denzel Mims is ten times better than him. Chase Claypool shouldn't go where you guys picked him. Like, I mean, you guys signed Eric Ebron. That is a good signing, but other than that, bro, Chase Claypool, you guys might as well put him to tight end. You know. Probably doesn't want to, but look at Darren Waller, uh, D- Darren Waller with the Raiders uh, before. I mean, yeah, he was supposed to be a receiver. Put him at tight end, one of the better tight ends in the league, you know. So uh, yeah, it's that's all. You know, you got you guys got uh, no weapons for Ben, Big Ben, you know. So yeah, Broncos. I'm going to have to put them at okay. I mean, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I'm going to have to. No, never mind. Wait a sec. I, I can maybe add one here. I can maybe add one. Yeah, I, I probably have to add one here. Uh, yeah, add row below. Oh, no. Yeah, I'd roll below. Uh, something like sleepers. You know, fringe. Playoff. Contender. Yeah, it could be that. We add them with that. Uh, yeah, this. No. Wait a sec. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, good. Okay. We could add them to that. Because, bro, they they have a lot of weapons with Drew Locke. They added Jerry Judy, KJ Hamler. Now it's Corlin Sutton, Jerry Judy, KJ Hamler, and Deshaun Hamilton, and Noah Fant. This is very good, you know, but... You could maybe, you know, wait a second. I'm going to just change that. Yep. Okay, so, and let's add the, yeah, these teams in. And then just add a good, great, good, okay. Or not. Okay. So, yeah. Tex- Texans are still going to be good, you know, but they're not as great, you know. So, yeah. Broncos, their offensive line needs help. Defense, they still have Von Miller. I mean, yeah. They let go of Chris Harris. Justin Simmons is still there. So... Yeah, I I think I have to put them there, you know? So Yeah, this video is gonna be a bit a bit long there. Okay, so Green Bay Packers. I have to put them at top tier. They they're still they're still a good team. Despite them not even getting a weapon not caring for Aaron Rodgers, they're still a good team. They're still good. And you know, they're still a good team. You know, uh, I'm probably going to have to put them at great because they're, yeah, something like that, great. They still need another weapon for Aaron Rodgers. It's not Marquez Vantless Scantling who's going to fill that. He only has the Devontae Adams 
And the last offensive player drafted in the first round was himself b- before Jordan Love. You know, so I-, I don't mind Jordan Love, but, you know, being development behind the uh, Aaron Rodgers, but, you know, if I'm him, I want to get out of Green Bay. You know? So, uh, yeah. Uh, the Raiders. The Raiders are going to be French playoff contender or not. Yeah. Derek Carr is good, not great. They added a lot of weapons. You know, they added some weapons on on uh, on, on offense. You know, Henry Ruggs. And, uh, yeah, you know, so Darren Waller is still very is, – is one of the better tight ends in the league. So, uh, yup, you know, we should be uh, – Okay, so yeah, let's have here the Panthers are going to be terrible. I mean, yeah, that is all I have to say. They're probably going to be tanking for uh, for for Trevor Lawrence maybe. They, they might. I heard that, you know, but the Redskins, terrible. They drafted Chase Young, yeah, but what else, bro? Your team... Your team isn't good, okay? Your, your team isn't good, okay? So, yeah. Cardinals, I'm still going to have to put them at bad. I mean, I can't really put them playoff contender because they're... They're, they're not a playoff contender. They could be... Yeah, they're not going to be very that they're going to be way better than last year but not going to make the playoffs. You know, that that's what I feel about them, you know. I mean, they're not there yet, you know, not there yet. So, yeah, the Bills the Bills I'm going to put them at great. Wait a second, let me put them at good first and just to put up the page. Great. You know, so yup. Let's just uh Let's just say the Bills have a great defense. Josh Allen is still is still a raw passer, but he's still gonna get better. Stephon Diggs is a new weapon there, so they have a good group. They have a decent group of re- re- receivers there, you know. So it should work out. The Bills are gonna be a very exciting team to watch, and they and they are right now the best team in the AFC East. So I really like them. Okay, so great here. The Seahawks are a great team, okay? I don't know why people just, you know... I mean, they didn't draft well at all this year, but they're still a very good team. Russell Wilson is one of one of the best QBs in the league. They still have weapons. They still have, you know, they still have a very good team altogether. You know, despite the Legion of Boom... Not being there anymore, they're still a very good team. So that's where I picked there. Uh, Jets, I'm going to say they're bad. You know, because, you know, they're not there yet. They're just not there. Like, they, in the last few years, they've never even been there. You know, uh, defense, defense. Jamal Adams is some guy. Sam Darnold could. He needs to develop. Needs to get better. Uh, Denz, they added Denzel Mims. You know, so that could be good. And uh, yeah, you know, this is. Yeah, so Patriots. For now, I'm just gonna say bad. You know, you know why? Because they're not. They don't really care about having a good quarterback. Not gonna lie, they literally they just love Jared Statham, but he looks like a guy who, who's not. He's not gonna go anywhere. You know, he's just not gonna go anywhere. You know. Like, look, 
you draft a kicker in the in the what second third round, second round I think or third or whatever. But your defense is old. You you need to replace Tom Brady. You know you need to replace him with someone. Jared Stidham, there, 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 there isn't even quarterback competition there. You know, Brian Hoyer and Jared Stidham isn't competition. Brian Hoyer isn't a starting caliber quarterback, you know? So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. This is going to be the list. If you disagree or agree, say whatever you have to say in the comments. This is my tier maker. This is what I, I see for the teams, you know? This is what I see. But uh, we're going to end it here. Subscribe if you're new. Click the like button. I have the Twitch down below here if you want to follow. And, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to see you guys in the next one.